Good afternoon, amigos, from our new home in Querétaro, Querétaro. <laughs> we are our new home for at least the next few months. We are enjoying the city already, out walking, out looking for food, exploring. <laughs> Day one, we're looking for food. Vamanos. Well, well, well. If you're new around here, <laughs> we are the Connecticutans and uh, we have this thing that follows us around called the Kinetic Curse. It tends, when we, whenever we're looking for a specific restaurant, it tends to be closed. And uh, well, today's a holiday, so we'll give Matty Posa, uh, we'll cut up some slack, but it's but closed. It's no different. So let's, uh, let's see if we can find something else to eat. Exactly, so it's in, the, in uh, cent central Mexico. We really love this area. We came we came here only one time for like four days and Hillary was absolutely in love Off with it. the charts, over dramatic. <laughs> and uh, if we're being completely honest, since that trip, we found an apartment like the next week and have uh, been getting the lease and all that time. But pretty much since then, we've known we were gonna move yeah. here for a long time. But Hillary, I like to you, keep you guys on your toes. When we came here for four days, why did you love it so much the first time? So everyone made fun of me, including myself, because <laughs> I just love walking streets. So pedestrian only streets, for some reason, that's something we, I mean, I've never even seen in the United States, really. And uh, they have several walking streets, so I immediately fell in love. Uh, the centralized spaces here are really cool. We walked around today maybe a mile or so, come across three like um, square type areas. Um, super festive, it feels, it feels like just the right size too. Today's actually a holiday, so I think the city is a little more hustling and bustling than it usually is, but um, I don't know. Yeah, I just a, really love it. The downtown is super historical. I, it's been like protected in terms of they can't build like big high-rise condos down here, but the city is actually one or two million people live here, one of the fastest growing cities in all of Mexico, extremely modern, and hopefully we can explore the yeah, outskirts of... I just of, cannot wait to show you guys. Yes, we will, over the course of us being here, we'll dig into the history of Querétaro, the museums, what to see, what to eat, what to do, uh, but today we're just kind of trying to take it all in and yeah. enjoying, enjoying some good old Mexican food. You know what I miss? Taco Bueno and Taco Bell. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Delicious. How are your enchilada suizas? Well. Feels good to be back in Mexico. Uh, the food, everything. Shopping. <laughs> Shopping. <laughs> We feel nervous, anxious, excited. What else? All of the above. All of the above. It's always a lot of fun. Again, very, very exciting though. I think going to new places allows us, moving to new, new places allows us to, to get to know one particular area fairly well instead of bouncing around, you know, yeah. every, every few weeks. Uh, we're excited to be here in Querétaro to obviously 
explore the city of Querétaro, the state of Querétaro. I'm just saying that a bunch of times because I need to practice saying it. And also to go to places like Leon, Guanajuato, Aguascalientes, Zacatecas, so many places San Luis Potosi. Well, it's just so much. I think that's one one main draw for us to this area besides just the city itself is that it's close to a lot of other areas. So I think in the next... Got lots of exploring to do. Exactly. <laughs> But this is the point in the episode in which we need your help. Uh, let us know what we need to do here in Querétaro, yes. uh, specifically in the city, not necessarily like outside of the city. I feel like every time we go somewhere, people tell us places that are like, <laughs> it's close to Mexico City and then it's four and a half hours away. <laughs> you mean Puebla? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think I think Mexicans uh, like anything, anything within like 400 miles is relatively yeah. close. <laughs> yeah. But no, let us know what we need to do in Querétaro, all kidding aside, all joking aside. Uh, let us know what we need to eat, what museums we need to go to, what we need to do, like what food we definitely have to try here in the city. Uh, and then... We need to go to. Yeah, a good gym. Also let us know, of course, about the places outside of the city as well. We uh, are obviously going to try and go to several different areas, but comment below, let us know any and all places that over the next few months that we just absolutely must visit. We have to show, we have to make videos about because we need your help. Uh, Lots of it. I think that's all we have for you guys today. We are enjoying this city already. The weather's cooled off quite a bit. It looks like it's about to pour. Is it? Is it about to be rainy season here in Querétaro? I know it is in, in Chilangolandia. Shout out to all my Chilangos out there. But uh, I don't know if it's the same weather patterns here in Querétaro or not. I would assume so, but... Uh, wow. That's why we love this city. Okay, amigos. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell that we get notified. Every time. We upload a new video. And we'll see you guys mañana. Mañana. Wait, sorry, did I ruin that? Yeah. We'll see you guys. Manana. From? Querétaro. <laughs>